Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use OptiScaler XCSS frame generation in Palworld running on my raw gala that comes with Windows 11 and Steam Deck that comes with Linux based SteamOS. We will be using OptiPatcher to unlock the in-game TLSS upscaler setting. This game does not support any frame generation technique. So I will be using OptiFG upscaler as the frame generation source. First I will be testing the game on raw gala. We will be using the latest test build of OptiScaler. Version 0.9 Preview 2 available on their Discord. Just click on the dot 7 link here. We'll be using version 0.24 of Opti Patcher. It's available on OptiScaler's GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the set section expanded. Click on the dot ASI link. Open OptiScaler mods archive file. Copy the highlighted files. First we have OptiScaler files, dot INI, dot TLL, XCSS files, DirectX LAN version not required. Fake NV API files, AMD Fidelity FX DX2F files, upscaler frame generation, copy, select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files, open PAL folder, open binaries folder, Win64 folder, paste everything here, change the name of optiscaler.tll file to txgi.tll now just open optiscaler.ini file scroll down until you find the spoofing section hey look for line name txgi just set it to false need to disable nvidia gpu spoofing we'll be using opti patcher to unlock the in-game tlss setting false Scroll down again until you find the plugin section from here. Just set load ASI plugins to true. Click on file, save, close in the game directory where you install OptiScaler mod. Just create a new folder and name it plugins. Inside this folder, we need to paste OptiScaler.asi file. Copy the file, open the games install directory, pal, binaries, win64, plugins, paste the file here, we are ready to run the game. Make sure it's running in DirectX 12 mode, not DirectX 11 mode, otherwise frame generation won't work. Select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on general, under launch options, add this line of text, dash dx12. Adrenaline settings for the game free sync and vsync enable. I have set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB. My LS is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install LS latest official GPU driver that writes support for Battlefield 6 using a 27 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 27 watts. CPU boost disable 900p resolution. Connected my Fly DG Vader 4 Pro controller to Alavi Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Launch the game. In game settings, display mode borderless required for using XCSS frame gen, resolution 900p, vsync and motion blur disable, settings set to medium, DLSS enable, this means OptiScaler mod is working using its quality preset. I will be using Adrenaline's overlay to show you the performance metrics, RTSS, how afterburner can affect the functioning of OptiScaler mod. Start game. Here yeah, there is a character, the game is set in a big open world, populated with Animal like features called PALS. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. I'll just increase the menu size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale. Set the value to 1.2. And make sure XCSS upscaler is selected from this drop down bar version 2.0.2. Input in game DLSS GXJ spoofing is off. All thanks to OptiPatcher. Auto export setting enabled. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Save INI. I'll also enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, expand FPS overlay section, check this setting, FPS overlay enabled, full plus graph, save and I close, show you the base game performance first, yeah this is my base, you can see PALS working hard, gathering resources for me, FPS is close to 40, 40 to 45, I have already tried OptiScale FSR frame generation in this game. It used to produce some artifacts around the 
fire for the torch Summon a pal I can mount it to fly around Yeah, FPS stays within a range of 40 to 45 I'll show you how to enable XCSF frame generation Oh my god Took out these creatures Dismount Open up the skill menu Check this Big your point. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source Select the option of TFG Upscaler Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select the option XCFG Now we need to click on save INI Close Restart the game Play There is a character Open up the scaler menu and check the setting active under XCFG Debug view, yeah you'll see these purple sidebars if XCSS frame gen is working These sidebars won't appear at all if frame gen is not working Check out the crosshair, it's producing some ghosting FPS increased to around 75, so I'll just enable hotfix setting Set the limit value to 1 This should fix the ghosting issue Disable the debug view Now observe the crosshair yeah, no ghosting is produced FPS is within a range of 70 to 80 No ghosting is produced around the fire of my torch Octiscale FSR frame generation used to produce some ghosting Show some combat Leave the place Character shadows They are also not producing any ghosting Input delay is not an issue Take out these small files This game still suffers from traversal stutters Few hiccups whenever you enter any new area Nothing extreme Now I'll test the game on Steam Deck This is SteamOS and again desktop mode First just download the latest test build of OptiScaler version 0.9 preview 2 from their discord Click on the .7G link here We'll be using version 0.24 of OptiBatcher to unlock the in-game DLSS of Scaler setting Download this build from OptiScaler's github Expand the asset section, click on the .asi link Open Dolphin File Explorer, go to Downloads, here you'll find all of the files that you just downloaded, I have transferred them to another directory, it does not matter Open OptiScaler Mods archive file Click on Extract Extract Wait for the extraction process to complete, finished Close the archive window Open the extracted folder Just change the name of OptiScaler.tll file to txgi.tll Now just open OptiScaler.ini file Scroll down until you find the spoofing section Under it look for a line named DXGI, there it is Set it to false, disables GeForce GPU spoofing Scroll down until you find plugin section From here just set load ASI plugin to true Click on save, close Now just copy the highlighted files First we have OptiScaler files XCSS files DirectX LAN version not required Fake NV API files AMT Fidelity FX DX12 files Separate DLL files for Upscaler and Frame Generation Right click Cut Select the game in your Steam library Right click Manage Click on Browse Local Files Open PAL folder Binaries folder Win64 folder Paste everything here Now in this directory create a new folder Name it Plugins Inside this plugins folder we need to paste optipatcher.asi file Done Ok Copy optipatcher.asi file Open the games install directory Open PAL folder, binaries, win64, plugins, paste the file here 
This game supports both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 modes. We need to run the game in DirectX 12 mode in order to use XCSS frame generation. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on general. Under launch options, add this line of text dash TX12. I'll be using G Proton version 10 15 as the compatibility layer. Ready to run the game. Switch to Steamers Gaming Mode. Play. I have the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Display supports up to 60 Hz refresh rate. I have overclocked the display refresh rate from 60 to 70. Now, when I uncap the FPS, it was causing some frame pacing issues with XCSS frame gen. In game graphics settings, using the very low preset, it basically sets the settings to low. Display mode borderless. 800p resolution, no FPS cap applied, vsync and motion blur disabled, yeah we have access to DLSS, using its quality preset, that's it, performance QM settings, OLA level set to 3, manual GPU clock speed setting, disable for the time being, haven't enabled alert tearing and disable frame limit settings, FPS limit 70, yeah we are in. This is my base, my pals working very hard to collect the sources, FPS is close to 33, animation quality is looking a bit jarring, dex display does not support VRR, if you are getting a variable FPS in a range of 33 to 39, better to just cap the FPS at 30. Ok now I will enable Optiscaler XSS frame gen, just open Optiscaler menu. By pressing the insert keyboard key, I'll increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu US scale 1.1. Using XCSS upscaler version is shown here 2.0.2. Input DLSS, in game DLSS setting, DXJS spoofing off, auto explorer setting on. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select Opti FG upscaler as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Now we just need to click on save INI. In this way mod settings won't get reset after restarting the game. I'll also enable Optiscaler's FPS overlay. Expand FPS overlay section. Check the setting FPS overlay enabled. Full plus graph. Top right position. Again save INI close. Restart the game. There's a character. Just open Optiscaler menu. Check the setting active under frame generation XCFG. Deeper view, purple sidebar should be present. I'll enable hard pick setting, set the limit value to 1. Should not produce any posting around the crosshair, disable the deeper view. Switch to my bow. I'll also enable manual GPU clock speed setting, set the speed to 1400 MHz. Yeah, no crosshairs. Like a pan, no ghosting is producer on the crosshair. FPS increased to around 70. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Before enabling XCSS frame generation, the animation quality was looking so choppy. 30 to 35. And look at the result now. Beautiful. Good results produced by XCSS frame gen on Steam Deck. Few hiccups can occur. Unreal Engine fly around mount the pad hold the X key my bad games interface it's not flickering take out the small fries use my move yeah 60 to 70 fps during combat Just wanted to highlight one issue, if I uncap the FPS with XCSS frame generation enable, animation quality will look choppy C, not sure why this happens and I'll just cap the FPS again, enable streamers racing, disable the following settings, disable frame limit lot tearing settings and now the animation quality is looking much smoother than before, so keep this in mind. That's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.